Here's problem 12.1. A uniform bridge span weighing 50 times 10 to the 3 newtons and is 40 meters long. An automobile weighing 15 times 10 to the 3 newtons is parked with its center of gravity located 12 meters from the right pier. What upward support force does the left pier provide? All right, let's try to do a free body diagram of this bridge span. So we'll draw the span, and we have two supports, the left pier and the right pier. And we know that um, the bridge has weight, and that's 50,000 newtons. We know that there's a car that is 12 meters away from the right pier and that has weight as well and that weight is uh, 15,000 newtons. We have a force of the left pier, a normal force going up, let's call that uh, F1. And then we have a force, a normal force of the right pier, let's call that F2. So of all the forces acting on this, there's four forces. The uh, span itself is 40 meters long, so this distance, let's put that in red. This distance here is 40 meters. And then the car is located 12 meters from the right pier. Okay. So, force equilibrium should exist, that's one thing, and if we wish we could um, look at that in the y direction, the summation of all the forces in the y direction should be zero, and so then we would have um, F1 plus F2 minus 50,000 minus 15,000. So it's true that uh, F1 plus F2 will equal 65,000 newtons. Nice to know, but um, we still don't get uh, uh, force F1 from this. We have two unknowns. All right, let's, uh, let's try torque equilibrium. And we have two choices. We could look at the left end, let's call that point A. Or we could look at the right end. And call it point B or or other choices as well, but by choosing a point that has a force that we don't know, we can eliminate that force from consideration because its moment arm would be zero. So by choosing point B, we can eliminate force F2 from consideration because it has a moment arm of zero. Its line of action goes right through that point. So if I were to draw a torque diagram based on point B, I would have a uh, force of the car going down, which is 15,000 newtons. I would have the force of the weight of the beam, which is of the span itself, which is 50,000 newtons. And then I would have this F force 1 going up, and they're all trying to, to exert torques about point B. Now the first two are exerting torques in such a way that they're trying to make this thing rotate counterclockwise. That would result in what we call a positive torque by the right hand rule. If I were to curl my fingers counterclockwise like that about point B, my thumb would point in the positive Z direction. So those are positive torques. While the um, force F1 is trying to make this thing rotate clockwise about point B, and that would be a negative torque. If I were to rotate or curl my fingers in that direction, my thumb would point in the negative Z direction. So we have two positive torques, one negative torque, they're all adding up to zero because this thing's not rotating at all about point B. So, the way we write that is the summation of all the torques about point B is zero. And we'll add our torques. We got uh, two positive torques. We got 15,000 newtons 
times its moment arm, which is 12 meters away, plus 50,000 newtons times its moment arm, which is 20 meters away. And then we have the negative torque, which is F1 times its moment arm, 40 meters away. All these torques should add up to zero. So we have that 40 times F1 is equal to 15,000 times 12 plus 50,000 times 20. So F1 is going to equal all that stuff, 15,000 times 12 plus 50,000 times 20 which is um, 1,180,000 let me write that down divide by 40 that gives me 29,500 newtons so the force on the left hand side of the pier is equal to 29,500 newtons